<laughs> I wanted to go back because this this uh, woman that sold me the couch, she was quite the talker. You know, people just like just keep going. They just keep talking, mm-hmm. which is fine. You know, I'm a friendly guy. I'll I'll entertain. I'll it. chat it up. But it's a little, you know. Yeah. It was a little crazy. Like off putting, like to the point where you were like, "Don't speak to me anymore." No, I would never say that to somebody. No, no. But no, in no. my head, I'm like, I better not ask a question because I don't want to go down this road again. Yeah. Every question was ten minutes. You are not a rude person. No. But I know at one point in your, excuse me, in your head, you were like, stop fucking talking to me. Oh, absolutely. Yes. It, maybe I didn't, even, I didn't maybe say, even multiple times. Yeah. Every, every 10 minutes. Every 10 minutes. <laughs> I was minutes? like, how yeah. long were you talking to this one? Oh, I was there. Jesus. Yeah. And I picked out things almost immediately, but it was a long thing. It was a long thing. Dude. And also getting furniture is like buying a car. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. How much can you put down? It's like, Jesus, how much am I fucking paying for this shit? Is this fucking elephant tusk, this fucking couch? It's it's a couch. It's a couch. How hard can it be to make a couch? Maybe a little tough, but (laughs) I don't know about thousands of dollars. I wouldn't know where to start. My couch is $2,200. It's just a couch. I know. It's not, you know, anything crazy. That's a great $2,200. You're going to use it every day. Yeah. That's great. And it's comfortable as fuck. Too. Like, I'm, I'm it's ready. a bed. Like it's it's not like a sh- like this couch is terrible. Yeah. That I have now, getting rid of that. So I want to get a new one. And this, this you always make nice fun of the way we, we I sit on that couch. Because you take the fucking pads off. No, they like they, they that couch is so shitty. It's yeah, it's shitty. That the pad ends up like under my ass. Where it should be. What do you mean? No, the back pad. Oh, the back pad. You guys can't see. Joe got me a chair to help my back. So now I'm very comfortable now. I don't know how that chair got in here, to be honest with you. I put it in here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Joe didn't get you a chair. Joe didn't get me. Actually, you did, technically, for the office. Yeah. But are like, uh, are you going to buy new chairs for the new office? Were you, did you get any chairs while you were there or just a couch? I got a couch and I got a bed and then I got like a little table because the table I have now is too big for the area that I want to put it. So I just wanted to get a smaller table that's like counter height. This yeah. One, you know. It's got chairs. I mean, it's a standard like table. It's nothing crazy. You're tossing that table, right? I'm not gonna toss it because it is a cool table. But I'm like, you know, I'm gonna keep it around. We'll find a place to put it. Yeah, but anyway, this lady's talking to me and she's saying all this stuff. And then like the first day, immediately she comes up to me, and I hate dealing with like salesmen at these stores because they're just like, you know, the worst. They don't leave you alone. She did a good job of giving me my space at first. Which is just, you know, whatever. Because usually they just stand behind you. And I'm like, dude, please. Yeah. Just get away from me. But she was good on that. But then but then she was, you know, she was saying, she's like, I promise if you come to me. Because I told her immediately. I was like, I'm not buying anything today. Like, I'm just looking. Standard. So don't, you know. Get off my ass. Yeah. Don't like, you know, you should get. You look great in this. You know what I mean? I'm not. Don't do that. Yeah. So she told me if I came back to her, she'd give me 20% off. Mm. So I was like. I'm taking that. Yes. You know? So I was like, all right, cool. You know, whatever. I still want to visit some other places. Yeah, 20% of 2,200, probably even more. That's a lot of money. Yeah. Uh, So I was like, I was like, I'm still going to bounce around and look at other places, which I did. I went to other places, but the other places weren't that nice. So I came back and uh, yesterday I went in there and she was talking to me the whole time. And then at one point when I decided what I was going to get, she was like I have to fill out like a credit report. And it asks you it like it asks you like uh your salary or something? Your salary. Yeah. Right. Your annual your estimated annual income or whatever. Right. Yeah. Like so, what they do with credit cards. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, it's a credit check. So I put what I put and she goes, <sighs> You're worried about that fifteen percent. And I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to save some fucking money on this shit. That's rude. Kinda. So I was just like, and she goes, and you're worried about that 15%. And, she's, and she was talking to me the whole time. She, tell, she started telling me about her kids and her husband and her, you know, I'm worried about my son. He's going to uh, wherever he's going in college. And I'm like, what? And then she's like, am I talking too much? I'm, and, you know, I'm in my head, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I, was, and I was just like, no, you're good. Like, don't worry about it. Like, whatever. She goes, I'm sorry. I'm a Gemini. So it happens. I hate when people tie their shit to their fucking astrology sign. I know. Like, listen, like a part of me, like, like believes in like us as human beings are in tune, like, I guess, like with the earth, like the planet. But like, 
Don't say you're fucking chatty Cathy just because the month you were born in. Yeah. You're just an annoying person. It's not that you're annoying. It's just that you're trying to get your sale. Yeah. Also. You want that commission. Originally, she told me the 20%. Then I hit her up the next day. And she was, and I was on the phone with her. And she was like, I was like, yeah, we're still good on that 20%, right? And she's like, ha, ha, ha. No promises. Wait, you were texting someone? <laughs> yeah. She gave me her number. And she wrote, ha, ha, ha. Please don't tell me any emojis were. were no, emojis. there wasn't. There wasn't. But if I, she sent you an emoji, I would have been like, "This person needs to be spoken to." <laughs> so I t- and she was like, "Don't I, emoji me if you don't know me." Wow, that's a, that's a shirt. Yeah, that I would never wear, but it's a shirt somewhere. Don't 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 emoji me if you don't knows me. If you don't knows me, nice. And then nose emoji as the, I'm all over it. <laughs> this guy's a fucking merch genius. Pow. Um. So anyway, I uh, I go in there. Well, before that, she was like, oh, no promises, whatever. So then... Whoa, she said no promises? Right. So now I'm like, all right, so this 20 was bullshit. What she a lying... Like, s- lying bitch. <laughs> what a sh- lying bitch. <laughs> so I go in there. Mind you, I will say, she was a very nice woman. She just talked a lot. She's a salesman. She's trying to do her job. Saleswoman. God saleswoman. damn it. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's 2018. I need to get... I'm going to be on CNN tomorrow Fuck. apologizing for that one. I just said she was a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, so I go in and she tells me that, uh, she's like, I don't know. She's like, I'm gonna see what I could do. And I was like, I was like, the whole reason why I picked this store was because you told me that. Yeah, of course. And I was like, and then she's like, I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I hate when they say things like that. Yeah. And see, you already told me what you saw. <laughs> see what you could do. I know. You said you saw 20%. Yeah. And, and now they, you see me in the she, store. And she actually even said something like. Uh, you know, oh, I see you're trying to get everything you're got. I'm like, I'm not trying to pull anything. Is this woman trying to suck your penis? I was like, this is the stuff you told me. Like, I'm, I got this information from you. That's why I'm expecting it. Dude, you got catfished. No, I did not get catfished. By a furniture salesman. I was already in the store at this point. Oh, I thought this was exchanged via text. No. Oh, no. I said, no, no, no. The only part that was exchanged during text was she said no promises. And I was like, and I told her like, whatever. She's like, just come in and... You know, I'll see what I can do. I was like, all right. So I go. That's and catfishing. What's catfishing? You got catfished. I did not get catfished. Yes, you did. How? She told you originally 20% off. Right. And then you're exchanging texts with her where you ask about the 20% off. Yeah. And she was like, he, 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 LOL. We'll see. It Maybe wasn't when he, you come he. In. It was ha, ha, <laughs> which is completely different. He, yeah. he has a different connotation. If someone... I was going to buy something from said he he. No sale. one he he'd. Sales off. There was no he he. Unless but, you're buying lemonade from a lemonade stand. Yeah. From a child. No he he. Ha, also, ha. don't text a child. Yeah. <laughs> let's do that. Yeah, let's, let's run that out. Drake. Yeah. Jesus, that guy's weird. Yeah. Texting Millie Bobby Brown. I feel like we flamed him before. I don't want to do this. Oh, get out of there, Drake. She's 14. Yeah. Enough. With the texting, all you, right. You already got the eighteen-year-old. Don't he he. All right. There was no he he. It was ha ha. I'll give you that. It was ha ha. It was not he he. But even the ha ha is like ha ha. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just come in. It wasn't like ha ha. You fucking idiot. Get over here. But anyway, so I get there and uh, and then that's when I felt like it started to become I can't help you. So so then I was like, uh, yeah, I'm holding out like Le'Veon Bell here. I'm not backing down. <laughs> I'm fucking like this. popping bottles in the club. Like, yeah, I'm not spending my money in here. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm holding out this season. I'm not gonna. I won't play till week ten. Yeah, like you know what I mean. But I ended up getting <laughs> fifteen. Like Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, I ended up getting fifteen percent off though. But it was funny because when I when I said the thing, like I had to write how much, like annually I make or whatever on average. I wrote it, and she like made this whole big deal, and it was just kind of uncomfortable. And she goes, "Are you a celebrity?" And I was like, "No." I mean, you are. I'm not going to have this argument with you. <laughs> I'm not he, a celebrity. He hates when I bring this up. But here's the thing. Yeah. Me personally. Yeah. That is so unprofessional. It was a little because bit. Because if somebody writes their credit and writes their annual income. You can't say You that. cannot react to their income. Yeah, yeah you can't. And she, and she was actually like, I can't even put it in. And I was like, yes, you can. I I even understand like even at that point she's trying to like suck your dick probably like and I mean still that, be like yeah yeah like, like oh yeah let's squeeze a table out of them you, yeah, you don't yeah. need this fifteen percent I also was like I like this table she goes what about that one I'm like that's literally like triple the price yeah I'm good 
That that's very 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 bad. That was the only part that I was like, listen, if you're you're a salesman, I get it. And you know what's funny? I swear on my life. What did you say life, as soon as she said that? Nothing. I was just like, it was sort of uncomfortable. So I was just like, yeah, like you know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't do well in those situations, but oh, you don't? No, I don't. I don't <laughs> like when when that happens. It's weird. Can we tell the Ranger game story or no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can. We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, that was a funny story. No, but um, the part that I wanted to get to was yeah. like, so I kept joking around with her about the twenty percent because we agreed on fifteen. We came down to it. We agreed on fifteen. Well, you're being passive aggressive though. Just be like, ah, twenty though. Yeah, I was doing that the entire time. Yeah. So she. Every time I brought it up, she would be very serious and kind of explain the whole thing. I'm like, all right, yeah, whatever. And I would just smile and laugh it off. And then she's like, and then she, at one point, she goes, You believe me, right? And I go, No. <laughs> Literally, I was just like, No. No. And she's like, Joseph. I was like, I, I don't. I that, was like, I was like, Listen, it's totally fine. Like, this is your job. You're a salesman. I was like, This is, this is what you're supposed to do. You got me. Yeah. You got me for 15. I'm here. I'm buying this. You know, you got me. So that's it. In your head. What'd you go at? What was the lowest you were going to take going in there? 15. 15. All right. Yeah. So you got. Yeah. All right. Works out for everyone. I, I was guess. happy with it. But I was fine. I knew it wasn't going to be 20. That's a, that is a wholesale based off false pretenses. Yes, but that's part of the game. Yeah, but that you, you know. Because here's it the is. thing if I'm going to sell you something and I say, hey, I'll give this to you for 100 bucks, and you show up and I go, give me 120, you're going to be like, no. I know. And you can't have an attitude. And then you're going to comment on my my net earnings? It was my gross wealth? It's a little different because you're you're paying it's a discount. Yeah, but don't say 20 and then give me 15%. Whatever. She did offer 20 if I took the the furniture like in 3 days or at the end of the month. Uh but I was like I need it in the middle. Jesus. So I just settled for 15. It was fine. Saleswoman's got more holes than Swiss cheese. And lady. listen, she was a very nice woman, and like she's just doing her job. Right? Was she older than you or younger? No, she was older than. All me. right, so you kind of like yeah, get your hustle on. Yeah, I mean, dude, I understand the game. You yeah. know, that's why I'm there. I'm holding out. I would. I'm playing the game. Yeah, I'm holding out. You know what I mean? One of us is gonna break a little. Hell yeah! I would have walked out of there again. I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. I'll probably could have got thirty five honestly, but yeah. I was tired, so I didn't want to do that. But uh, it was funny. But yeah, she said she was a Gemini, and that was the whole reason for it. That's just so weird. And I was like, I'm a Pisces. What does that mean? She's like, I don't know. I was like, all right. Yeah. Like, I'm an Aquarius. That's the only reason I'm funny is because I'm an Aquarius. Yo, you're a Pisces? We're not compatible. Yeah. That's awesome. If you really, like, hold true to your horoscopes, I don't, I don't, I'm not compatible with any of you then. Yeah. So my, what's my, my, my know, dick's going to hit, like, a force field. Here's the thing. <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm a Pisces. Aquarius, Aquarius alert, Aquarius penis. Just like, no. I'm a Pisces, and I don't know who I'm compatible or not compatible with, but if you know that information, we're not compatible. <laughs>